Wednesday marks the fourth anniversary of North Korea's torpedo attack on the South Korean warship Chunan, which killed 46 South Korean sailors. Seoul swiftly imposed tough sanctions on the North that proved to have quite an impact on the North Korean economy. But as our Kim Yun-bin reports, some say it's time and they are lifted. 46 brave souls were lost when the South Korean warship Chunan was sunk by a torpedo attack blamed on North Korea in 2010. Two months later, economic sanctions called the 524 measures were placed against the North that prevent any and all exchanges between the two Koreas. It's not just general trade. It's all processing materials that are banned from in and out of North Korea. The measures had a substantial effect. All cross-border trading came to an abrupt end with the exception of factory operations at the Kaesong Industrial Complex. The amount of exports to South Korea dropped from an average of $41 million a month before the sanctions were put in place to $3.7 million a month afterward. To fill the gap, Pyongyang began relying more heavily on China and selling off more of its natural resources. While that has mitigated the effects of the 524 measures, it's had other effects on the North Korean economy. Natural resources are key strategic materials for the North, so it's worth noting that former leader Kim Jong-il banned exports of these products. Citing improving inter-Korean relations, some in the South are now calling for the 524 measures to be lifted. But the South Korean government says that won't happen until Pyongyang takes responsibility for past actions. Regarding the Chonan issue, North Korea says they weren't involved. Pyongyang needs to take responsibility for Chunan and apologize for its actions. So added that North Korea also needs to stop making threats and carrying out provocations if it wants the 524 measures to be lifted. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.